All right, welcome to the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show. I'm Larry Kruger, and check out Pig and a Pickle. They're in Corte Madera, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. They're open seven days a week in Corte Madera from from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. every day, and they're open Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville in the Emeryville Public Marketplace. Great barbecue. The brisket is amazing. The brisket chili is phenomenal, uh, but it's all good. Try it, and you will be a fan for life. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about the 49ers, who today, according to Matt Barrows, they have non-tendered restricted free agent Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, making him an unrestricted free agent. Um, Fowles is a good player. I mean, no question about it. He was a safety in Tucson at the University of Arizona. He bulked up. He became a linebacker and became a great special teamer for the 49ers and and is now probably going to secure the bag somewhere else and make a few bucks. But the Niners feel like they can replace him in the draft or in free agency, and they probably can. Now, uh, the Niners are pretty loaded at, at linebacker. Marcelino McCrary Ball. They got out of uh, out of college in last year's draft after the draft as an undrafted player. And uh, McCrary Ball, I think, is going to step right into Flanagan Fowles' spot and really produce. But this draft also has some outstanding, uh, what I would call day three or undrafted free agent players at this position. I'm going to give you a few of them, a few of my favorites. Um, that I think could really do a great job of replacing Demetrius Flanagan Fowles uh, with the 49ers. All right, one of them is Michael Jones, who wore number three for Syracuse, six feet, 220 pounds, third, a uh, three-time All-ACC linebacker. He was a Butkus Award semifinalist. Um, he was the team captain for the for the Qs. And um, he's just a, he's an undersized linebacker. He's a little shorter than the scouts want. He's a little lighter than the scouts want, six feet, 220, but he's perfect for what the 49ers are looking for. Productive player. I think they could probably grab him in the sixth or seventh round and he'll be, he'll be on the board and they'll be thrilled. They did. So remember that name, Michael Jones from Syracuse, another guy, Charlie Thomas from Georgia tech. This guy was really good for, for Georgia tech second team, all ACC selection. He made 112 tackles as a senior. It was one of the he's one of the most productive linebackers in all of college football. He was fifth in the nation in solo tackles per game at almost six per game. And he's an honor roll student. He wants to get his MBA. Uh, so Charlie Thomas, remember that name from Georgia Tech. Great athlete, um, really a well-rounded football player, another undersized linebacker that could step in and and you know, for place Demetrius Flanagan Foles. Another guy that I really like, uh, Krishan Merriweather for Texas Tech, 5'11", about 235, 240. Um, doesn't have great speed, but, man, this guy's got instincts. He was a Juco player. He took over for Jordan Brooks there when Brooks jumped to the Seahawks in the NFL draft out of Texas Tech. And Merriweather is just a hitter. He's a hitter. He's, he's too short at 5'11". Um, I think he runs, but he's field fast. He's faster than his four, seven, four, eight, whatever he's going to run, um, indicates. So, you know, if you, if you have good instincts and you're flowing in the right direction at linebacker, you know, your lack of big time speed can be negated. And I really like Merriweather's instincts. And I think he could be an outstanding player on special teams to begin his career. Here's another guy I love. And now granted, I'm a Sac State guy. So you gotta, you gotta factor that in. But from remember this name, Marte Mapu. Marte Mapu from Sac State. He wore number five. He was first team all big sky this year. 6'2, 6'3, also about 218 pounds, somewhere in the you know, 215, 220 range. Um, I love Mapu. Tremendous player. Uh, he he he, you know, he's he's great in coverage. He's absolutely can mirror receivers up and down the field, whether it be the tight end or a receiver. He, he's got he's very field fast, um, smart football player, just a smart guy overall. He already has a degree in sociology from Sac State. He's working on his second degree in kinesiology. Uh, Marte Mapu, got to fl- flip on the film. You'll love him. Jalen Graham from Purdue. Another player, the Niners met with Graham, I believe, in Indy. He wore number six for the Boilermakers. Uh, he's a kid from Detroit who played defensive back in high school and just got a little too big for defensive back. But he's 6'3", about 220 pounds. He's a great coverage linebacker, right in that same kind of frame as a Demetrius Flanagan Foles. And I think J- Jalen Graham's probably there 
in the sixth or seventh round. Um, and then the last guy on my list is a guy that I absolutely love. He's one of my favorite players in the entire draft, Stefan Pierre, who played linebacker for Albany State. I saw him in the HBCU All-Star game. He wears number 30, or he did for Albany State. He played on their dirty blue defense, and he was an SI, a SEAC player of the year. He was the defensive player of the year in the conference. He's a kid from uh, Nickasicki, Florida, right outside Tallahassee, uh, right near the Georgia border, raised by his his mom out in the country uh, and his stepdad. And this guy is just awesome. I mean, just an absolute awesome player. He plays fast. He's he goes about 6'2", 205 pounds. So he's probably too small to play linebacker. And he's all of his experiences at linebacker. He did run a four or five. He's a very focused player. He can play all three linebacker spots. He can play in the nickel. He could probably play free safety. Um, 16 tackles in the homecoming game. He plays fast. He plays physical. Uh, he's a little bit of an older prospect. So not only was he, is he going to be marked down for not necessarily fitting the NFL size speed requirements for the position, but he's also a little older prospect due to uh, COVID-19. He was granted extra eligibility. So he's coming into the league as an older player, but he's working on, he's already got his undergraduate degree. He's, he's working on his master's degree. And when the, when he was asked in an interview to describe himself, he said in one word, unstoppable. And when you watch him, you can see Stefan Pierre from Albany State is unstoppable. So, you know, as much as I don't like losing good football players, and there's no question that Demetrius Flanagan Foles is a good football player, he was like a fifth or sixth linebacker who also was a good special teamer. He'll probably get paid more elsewhere, and I'm happy for him because he's absolutely a great dude. I did a couple interviews with him late in the year. I really liked, um, really liked Demetrius Flanagan Foles, but there are a bunch of guys in this draft that they could replace them with. And I just gave you a six or seven right there. And all of them are going to be on the board, you know, after the sixth round. So um, this is a player that can and probably likely will be replaced in the NFL draft, but nevertheless, uh, congratulations to Demetrius and we wish him best wherever he goes. Cause he's a good dude and a really solid football player. All right. Hope you enjoyed our 49er video courtesy of pig and a pickle. Check them out in Emeryville and Corda Madera and keep it locked on the Krug show. Like, and subscribe as we bring you lots of 49er content all season.